hi it's penny here and today we're going to be putting together my tbr for april i am going to use my tbr machine as usual which is a website i made that spits out random reading prompts so we'll use that but there's also a few other things going on in april and um, firstly it's the best month because it's my birthday but also we've got the aurelium readathon which i'm really excited to participate in i've participated in i guess the first few setup readathons but this is the one where we're going to be reading lots of books or at least i am because in this readathon basically there are a bunch of different callings and depending on which calling you decide to follow uh, depends which classes you need to take in this fantastical fictional magic school that g from book roast has created uh and as I always did back when this was the magical readathon, of course, of course, I'm going to become an alchemist. Now, there are a few other callings that I am interested in, so I might take those classes as a backup. In fact, I think I'm going to do all the classes just to leave my options open. Although I think things get harder in the August part of this readathon, so I might not want to make things too hard for myself. But I want to leave my options open, so I'm going to read a book. For every single prompt or at least i'm going to try to but as well i'm going to be doing my tbr machine challenge so we're going to try and work out how those prompts are going to overlap and i did last time pick the three prompts from the tbr machine that we need to read books for so the first prompt that i got last time was wait oh also we are racing the sunset so if it gets dark that's why so the first prompt was to read a book with a one word title and for this, I'm going to read Ballad by Maggie Stiefvater. This is the second book in a trilogy where she never wrote the third book. It's kind of about these musicians who get involved with these fairies. Um, it's a YA book. Unfortunately, Maggie Stiefvater will probably never write the third book in this series. So if I read this, I can count the duology trilogy as done, even though I've only read two books. And we need to make this fit for an Aurelian prompt as well. So I'm going to pick this for lore where you needed to read a book which is mythology inspired um this has got fairies in it fairies are mythology and i think um it's particularly inspired by like celtic mythology i think we're gonna count it anyway so that's our first book let's put our books here and see if we can make everything fall on the ground then the next prompt on the tbr machine is to read the next book in a series that you have started but not yet finished uh, and for that i'm going to read the second book in the skullduggery pleasant series i started listening to the audiobooks of this last month currently this month in march and i really enjoyed it it's about this girl who inherits from her eccentric author uncle and discovers that he was all involved in this magical world there's a magical artifact missing uh, and she ends up being helped out by skullduggery pleasant who is this animated skeleton who's kind of a detective um, I don't know what's going to happen in the second book, but some interesting things happened in the first book. And just it's a lot of fun. It's written in a really kind of humorous and energetic way. And I really like the audiobook narration. So to be honest, I'll probably listen to the audiobooks, which I have from the library. So that will be super quick. And for that reason, I'm going to count this for the Aurelium Readathon as my animal studies book, for which you need to read a quick read. Um, so that'll be my second book. And then the last prompt I had for the TBR machine was to read a book by an author with the same last initial as you. My surname starts with G. Uh, and so the book that I've gotten from the library is Mutu Whenua by Patricia Grace. Grace starts with a G. It's just like a really tiny book, but also the font is tiny, so it's not as tiny as it looks, but still pretty tiny, so it's a perfect book for a readathon. Um, I don't know much about it, but it's from, I think, around 1978. It's kind of a classic New Zealand book written by a Maori author. I think it's about a woman who, it's been a while since I read the synopsis, it's about a Maori woman who marries a Pākehā or a European man and kind of has to leave her culture behind. Uh, I'm really interested to read it. This has been on my list of Maori authored books that I wanted to read for a while. Oh, and for the Aurelium Readathon, I'm going to count this for Artificiary. I don't know how to say that, uh, but the prompt is a book with an earth setting, so set in the real world, and that fits for that. Such a little book! Okay, so before I get into all the rest of the Aurelium prompts, I do just want to pick my tbr machine challenge prompts for what's the month after april it's may so the first prompt is going to be is my phone so slow on the internet 
the first prompt is going to be read the longest book on your TBR. I guess that's not so bad. Another thing that's happening in April that I didn't mention is that I'm not going to be working. I'm not going to be working in May either, so that'll be appropriate for that. I don't know what it is, but it's probably another book in this series because these are all chunky. Although I have some other chunky ones on there too. Um, I will have to see what that is. But thank goodness I'm not working anymore because otherwise that would have been a challenge. Then the next reading prompt is going to be read a book with green on the cover. Ooh, I have to look at some covers, but that should be an easy one, one would hope. And then the last reading prompt is going to be, oh no, read a book with food on the cover. I remember I got that prompt once before and it's actually really hard to fulfill when you're just trying to pick books primarily off your TBR shelf, like your physical shelf. But I think, maybe, I didn't read the book that I picked for that prompt last time either, so maybe I know what one I'll pick for that. Okay, so let's go through the rest of the books on my TBR. There's a lot of them. So firstly, we've got Elemental Studies, where you need to read a book under 100 pages. For that, I'm going to read Ariel by Sylvia Plath. I read this in high school, and I really loved it at the time, but it's been a long time since I was in high school, because I'm very old now. So I would love to fall in love with Sylvia Plath again. I've always said in the past that my dream way of reading poetry is to, like, read it while I dance through the forest or like sweep through the forest in a beautiful dress. Honestly, I was trying to think of forests I could go to and the, I thought of one, but even though I could go there and there would be very small chances of me running into anyone, I've discovered that I'm probably still not brave enough to do it. However, I can at least put on some beautiful lighting here and dance around my house reading poetry. And maybe I could be brave and go and read some poetry in nature somewhere. We'll see how we go, but I'm going to fall in love with Sylvia Plath again. That's my plan. And then we've got Astronomy, where you need to read the book on the top of your TBR list. Obviously, this is quite interpretable in terms of how do you want to decide what the top of your TBR list is, but I've decided just to go with the book that I'm the most excited about reading, and that would be Fool's Assassin, which is the final book. The final book in the Realm of the Elderlings. So the Realm of the Elderlings, I think I can never remember how many books there are. There's like five trilogies, but one's a quartet. Five times three plus one, 16 books. So this is the 16th book in the Realm of the Elderlings. We're following Fitz. He's a lot older now. Uh, some children that were in his care are in a lot of trouble, and he is basically staging a rescue mission. There's definitely still some stuff going on with the dragons and all the court politics that you had from the earlier books. I will say the second book in this trilogy wasn't as emotional as the first one, but since this is the final book, I'm really expecting a lot, hoping a lot. I, I just can't wait to read it. Then the next class is alchemy. Of course, wanting to be an alchemist, I need to take alchemy. Uh, and for this, we need to read a book featuring romance. Um, I'm not sure my pick is the best, but there is romance in it, so it's going to count. And that is the fifth book in the Lightbringer series by Brent Weeks. I think it's called The Burning White. Uh, I've been reading this series this year. I think actually I started it last year, but I restarted it again this year. And I've been really loving it. It's set in a world where people have this color magic, so they're able to draw the light from around them and use it for magical purposes. Uh, most people can only draw one particular color, but some special people can draw more. And there is this religious figure called the Black Prism, who's able to draw all the colors and in fact able to split white light and draw magic from that. Pretty much everything has changed since the first book. I'm currently right in the middle of reading the fourth book in the series and I'm expecting that this is going to change things completely again so I don't know what the fifth book is going to be about but I am excited to get to it. Then the next class is Inscription and the prompt for this is an intimidating read and I am going to read Child of Flame by Kate Elliott. Now there might be some of you out there who are saying, Penny, you've been reading this for months. Penny, this was the final book in your character creation for the Aurelium Readathon that you were supposed to have read before this readathon. You can't use it for a prompt. And you know what? I know that's breaking the rules and I don't care. My character is all about breaking the rules. And so we are going to break the rules because I just need to get through this book. So if there was any book 
that you were going to describe as intimidating. It has to be this one that I have tried to finish so many times and I haven't managed to get through it. And I think that makes it sound like maybe I'm not enjoying this, but I am enjoying it. I just sometimes struggle with the writing, but there's so much interesting stuff going on in this. This is the fourth book in a seventh book series. Every book kind of turns into this kind of massive monstrosity. The pages are massive. Just the writing style is very dense, but there's lots of really cool stuff going on. Uh, just recently in this one, we got dragons and merfolk. We've got people battling over the kingdom. We've got dark magic. We've potentially got time travel, other dimensions. There's just so much going on in this. And I think that's also what makes it so challenging because like a while back, something really exciting happened and I don't know when I'm going to get more of that. But I just, whenever I do the maths of how many pages I need to get through a day to finish this in the time frames that I want to, it kind of scares me. So this is an intimidating read. And even though I've already read 350 of the 850 pages, it's still an intimidating read. And so I am going to count it. And I don't care if it's breaking the rules. Wow, we really are losing our lighting. Okay, the next class that we need to take is Spells and Incantations. And for this, you need to read either a book of short stories or essays. I am going to read Huia Short Stories 14. So Huia Publishers is a publisher that I've fallen in love with. I was really trying to find uh, Maori authored fantasy books that I would love. And it was only once I discovered Huia Publishers that this became a much easier thing to find. Unfortunately, this is not fantasy. This is contemporary Maori fiction, but I still think it will be enjoyable. I'm looking forward to reading books with like that New Zealand feel, getting a little bit more insight into the Maori perspective and just I'm looking forward to it. Do you know that stack looks tiny on this camera, but in real life it looks much bigger. Okay, then two more classes for alchemy. So the first one is Restoration, where you need to read a book including healers. And for this, I'm going to read Fires of Heaven, which I think is the fifth book in the Wheel of Time series. If you're very observant, you'll know that I haven't yet read the fourth book in the Wheel of Time series. But the next class is Demonology, for which you need to read a book with the word shadow in the title. The fourth book of the Wheel of Time is The Shadow Rising. I was actually hoping to get to this in March, but I haven't got into it, so I may as well hold it off because it perfectly fits this prompt. Uh, and if you haven't heard about the Wheel of Time, it's basically a bunch of young adults who find themselves in the middle of this bigger prophecy and conflict between this Dark Lord who's trying to come back and this, I guess, society of women with magical powers. Some of the men in this group are also showing magical powers, which generally is frowned upon because men haven't done great things with magic in the past. But this is another one where there's a lot going on. I think there's like 14 books in the series, 15 if you count the prequel. So getting to number five, I'll only be a third of the way through, but I'm interested to see where the series is going to go. Okay, so that is all the books that I need to read to become an alchemist. But now we're going to add a few more just so that I can have some options. So the first class we're adding on is actually... I didn't write down the proper name of the class here. I think it's The Art of Illusion. So for this you need to read a book with a trope you like and honestly as soon as I read that prompt I could not think of what I even like. Like what what do I like? What do I like? I don't know. So in the end I decided to go with Burn For Me by Alona Andrews. This is the first book in a series about a family that are discovering their powers in this world where people have different psychic abilities and if you have two people in your family with these psychic abilities you become a house and you get a whole bunch of status and political power. Um, I only really know what this is about because I did read the novella that is like after the third book in the series. But I really enjoyed it. I really enjoy Alona Andrews' writing style. So I'm looking forward to reading this and I have the audiobook. So I decided to fit it in uh, because I do suspect strongly that the romance in this, like with the Kate Daniels series by Alona Andrews, I think the romance in this is going to be hate to love. And I tend to like enemies to lovers, hate to love kind of romances when it's like they're learning how to work better together. Like we don't really like each other, but we have the same goals. And when we worked together, we realized that maybe we do work together. That's what I want. And I think I might get that from this book. Then the next class is Conjuration. And for this, you need to read a book with a source of light on the cover. Uh, for this, I'm going to go with The Excalibur's Curse by Kirsten White. I 
have put a hold on it from the library so hopefully it will come on time. But this one on the cover there's like a sword which is a source of light in itself. I assume it's Excalibur to be honest. So this is like a retelling of the whole Arthur and Camelot myth with Guinevere and Lancelot. There's a few twists in there about the way it's being told. To begin with, Guinevere is not Guinevere. She is a changeling. This hasn't been my favourite series, but there were some elements of it that I really enjoyed. So this is the third book in the trilogy. I've read the first two. I may as well continue it. Then the next class is Psionics. I think it's Psionics and Div Divination actually. Um, and for this we need to read a book that's set in the future. And for this I'm going to read June Messiah. I have the audiobook for this from the library. It's fairly short I think, which does make me worry that maybe it's not the full audiobook because I've been tricked by that before from the library. I should double check it. But anyway, June Messiah. So it's the second book in the June series. Um, how do I describe what June's about? I don't know, all I can think about for June is how the last sentence of that first book made me really angry, so why am I continuing it? Just curiosity to be honest. It's kind of set very far in the future, like I think like the year 10,000, different families rule different planets and primarily we're fighting over this planet of Arrakis where there's this spice which is essentially a drug that's used that's very popular, um, but also there's this native people of that land that this family ends up kind of having dealings with. There's a lot more to it than that, that's a terrible synopsis, but like it's not one I feel like I can easily wrap up. But I'm gonna read the second book so we'll see how we go. And then the last class is shapeshifting. I wish I could shapeshift in real life. So the prompt for this is to read a book with a creature with claws on the cover. Uh, so I'm gonna read the third book in Skullduggery Pleasant because you can see he has some kind of glowy claws here and he's like a skeleton guy so that counts as a creature right? So I'm counting it third book. I've got the audio book again so it'll be quick to get through. I know this is going to be a lot of fun so I'm looking forward to reading that too. And then to be honest I have three more books that I couldn't fit into the prompts. So this is definitely way too much to read but we're going to do our best. Um, from the library I've got Karen's School Picture by Katie Farina but this is an adaptation of the original Babysitter's Club Little Sister books which were by Annie Madden but I've been reading these graphic novels and they're just super cute and fun. It'll be a really quick read so looking forward to reading that. Then I also have Gallant by V. E. Schwab which is a newer release by her. I think it's about a girl who gets an invitation to this school but when she gets there nobody really knows who she is or why she's there um, but she kind of sticks it out and eventually discovers that there's this other kind of version of the school or something. I don't know but uh, it's got a bunch of pictures in it and like a book within a book. It's fairly short. It shouldn't be too bad to add that to my TBR. I probably could have made it fit one of the prompts but I am not smart enough. Uh, and then the last book I have which really if I was gonna miss any it should probably be this one uh, because it's book seven in the Harry Dresden Files. I have the audiobook for that. I think it's called Deadbeat. I don't know what Harry's gonna be up to now. He's probably gonna annoy me but hopefully he'll annoy me slightly less than the last book. If he could just keep annoying me slightly less every book maybe eventually I won't hate him. Maybe. You never know. So Harry Dresden is a wizard. He solves magical crimes as well as having a whole bunch of dramas in his personal life because he's bad at life. So it's really dark outside. I don't know how quickly I got through that but this oh, oh, is going to be my TBR for April. Really I've stacked these all in the wrong order but I don't know if I can read all of these. I've got audiobooks for a couple which will help although I am actually a bit afraid that I might have too many audiobooks to read. However I'm hoping to go for heaps of walks in April so hopefully that will help with getting through the audiobooks. I don't know how it will get help with getting through all of these but again I'm not working in April so I can just like lie around reading for a month and then I'll have to work out what I'm doing with my life after that but a month of reading? Doesn't sound so bad. So do let me know if you've read any of these books and whether you think I'm going to like them uh, and check back. I'll probably be vlogging the Aurelium Readathon as I go and then at the end of the month I will wrap up all the books and let you know my thoughts about them. So check in then. Otherwise thank you so much for watching. I hope that you are doing well and I will see you next time.